All right, so a key to throwing off the hump is to center up the clay here. The, the key to centering some clay on the hump is to take it up and then take it back down. Kind of like you would, just kind of imagine this is the bottom of the wheel head. Grab about two fingers width for these pots we're doing here. For like a mug, I would grab three. For a big bowl, I would grab four, or like a cereal bowl. Next, we're going to go into the pot with an index finger, giving it a little bit of an angle, kind of like this. If you keep that straight, you will end up in the middle and you will have put a little bit to the side, almost making like a V shape. Next, I'll go out just a hair. Compress back in as much as you can without going down. All right, so here's the pulls. We're gonna go ahead and do a pull one. The key here to get a aggressive curve here in a minute, it's to leave thickness, okay? Because whenever you expand out, you're gonna need that thickness to stretch. If you thin, if you make a super thin cylinder and try to adjust it into a vase or anything like that, it might collapse. So right here, I'm gonna use this finger right here to kind of go into the pot just a hair. My finger on the inside is right here. My finger on the outside is here. This is establishing where my foot will be. That's the foot. That's kind of how you find it. It does take practice. The final step for a curved pot is to start your third pull and expand out with that inside hand. It's not really a pull, it's more of an expansion. And you can go back and adjust it a little bit. And then I'm gonna take this in just a hair. But yeah, so that leaving thickness was the key there and why it worked. Because again, if it's too thin on that wall and you try to expand like this super aggressively, it will collapse because it doesn't have the integrity. Right here, I'm just gonna establish my foot once more. That's the bottom. I wanna take my wire tool and I run it through like this, thumb, index finger, like that. If you pull it straight through, you're probably not gonna get a straight cut. I would just do this right here. That helps me get a nice angle and be sure to make that noise when you do it. To lift it off, I grab at the foot, sneak my middle finger underneath and you have a nice support like so. I'm gonna set that aside to dry. Let's do it one more time, okay? So we're gonna take this pot up or the mound, center it, find where two fingers is right there going into it with my index finger giving it that angle going out compressing back very lightly tilt in just a hair and then start the first pull stopping right before the rim let's get another pull don't worry about the mound of clay leaning to the left it's gonna lean a little bit if you're pushing hard enough. Whenever you finish your pull, it will come back to the center. Okay. Tucking that finger underneath, establishing where my foot will be. And this final pull, we're going out. Again, the major key to doing a, a large curve like this on the wall is to make sure it's thick enough before you do that. You have to leave the thickness. When you first start doing pottery, you're trying to get those, those walls nice and, nice and thin on the cylinders and you're tr that's like a major goal of yours is, I need to have nice even walls on my cylinders, which is true you do on your cylinders, but if you're trying to do a pot like this, you want a nice, even thicker wall to take out. And once you do take it out, it will become thin again. 
and you'll have that nice thin wall, but with a curve. This one took me a long time to learn, guys. It, it definitely took a few years to get down to where I don't even have to think about it anymore. Again, right here, boom. Lifting by the foot, boom. Finger underneath, like that. There we go, that's another one. Let's go ahead and do one more. I think it's really good for you guys to see repetition. And that's the nice thing about the hump is you can repeat fairly easy. All right, two fingers, find the two fingers like this. Okay, take your time, make sure it's all centered up. Two fingers, let's go into it with the index finger, then out. Compressing back, you can't compress like you would on a wheel head because you'll push the clay down. But you want to just give it a little bit of a compression. Go out, find that corner, lean it in a little bit and then do your pull. Again. Stopping right before the rim. Just making sure my thickness is correct. Before I expand out, I'm going to establish my foot. There we go. Clean it all out before you take it out. Expanding outwards with my inside hand. Get that nice. Notice how the notice the speed of the pull was fairly slow. There we go, going up. Clean everything out. Make sure everything's nice and smooth. Make sure your foot is established before you cut. I like to put a little bit of an angle like that. So the wire has something to guide it through. Wire, grab it. I like to do this. Fingers right here in the middle, pinkies to the outside, like this. Thumb and index finger. Just like that. Boom. That will give you that nice clean cut. If you go this way, you have tendencies to like go up and down. But if it's like this, somehow it works better. Grab by the foot, middle finger underneath, especially middle finger underneath when you're doing larger pieces off the hump. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a little bonus one here. Just to show you, you can do different size pots. You can even do a little tiny pot, just grab like a finger width on the top, go in, up. You can almost just squeeze it up the first pull. Do a tiny little pull with your index finger, make sure everything's compressed. Let's go up one more time. I'm kind of doing this to bring it up. Okay. So right there, we have enough thickness to go out. Expand it out once more. You get the idea. So I probably need to take a needle to that. But I just wanted to show you, you can do smaller pots too. Probably not going to keep this one because I'm not doing those right now. But yeah, guys, it takes practice. It really, really does. It takes practice. So go ahead and throw a mound of clay onto the wheel, grab the two fingers, go in. Once you, get, once you get it down, you can just go faster and faster and you find out how to do multiple moves at once. Just take the throwing technique that you learned on the wheel head and just apply it to this. Just want to make sure you know where that inside hand is and establish where your foot is. That's key. Whenever I first started doing the hump, I did not do that very well, like establish the foot. 
because that's going to be the key to knowing where everything ends is having that foot established like that right there. And then you can start your curve out, make sure everything's pretty and how you want it. It's really becomes like clockwork once you get it down. It really, really gets easier and easier. You don't have to worry about it as much. You really don't think about it. You just know that you need that thickness. Right here, boom, thumb, index finger, just like that. It's gonna bend a little bit like this, but when you pull it through, it will feel good. It takes practice once again. Don't give up on the hump just because your first time didn't go that well. You're looking at someone who's been doing it for five years now, but look how much easier it gets over time. So let me know in the comments what you think of this video. If you like this style, me just talking my way through doing the pots. I'm not trying to do any crazy editing on these. Just want y'all to really see me in action. So there we go. We got some egg yolk separators going. We'll see you in the next one.